Another, this dog that has refractory epilepsy and tends to have seizures after the administration of flea and tick and even heartworm preventives and vaccinations. Another question, you know, should we be running titers and vaccinating less? Uh, another regarding flea control, knowing that chemical products can trigger seizures. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say to the audience to this effect? Because it's obviously a very um, big concern. Yeah. So one thing that we always like to advise our clients on is that dogs can have a seizure cycle. And sometimes that seizure cycle will be every 30 days. So we've had many of clients that have come in that says, my dog, you know, seizures every 30 days after it's flea and tick and hardware medication, which is usually given on a 30 day cycle and it stopped or something's changed and they still do. So the first question is, is that maybe your natural dog seizure cycle? And it just happens to be coincidentally time to the medication because, um, you know, there is a class of medications, which the FDA does not recommend being used in dogs with seizures, but there's a lot of medications um, that can be used and are used safely in dogs. And again, you know, my personal feeling is that the potential of disease associated with fleas and ticks and heartworm is more of concern to me than a slight chance that these medications may predispose to seizures. For vaccines, we do, I think, in general, most people are going more towards titering. So there's been no strong studies that say that vaccines are associated with worsening of epilepsy in dogs. So we don't have any data to say that, although some owners say that they experience it. So what we recommend is, you know, in North Carolina, rabies vaccine is, is required by law. So all animals should get rabies vaccine. It needs to be given every three years. However, some of the other ones, you know, depends on the animal's lifestyle and their exposure. And now titers can be done. So we used to vaccinate every year, and I don't think that's necessary anymore. You know, particularly in an animal that may not have much contact with other animals. But if they're in a boarding situation, if they go to dog parks, you know, I think it is important to make sure that they are protected um, with titers or vaccines as needed. Great, thank you.